regular first Thursday Mass sponsored by Family Encounter Number 14 of the Bukas Loob sa Diyos Covenant Community Haro District. The Mass is offered for the physical healing of Anya Cordero, Bobby Pabilio, Rans Alquetran, TJ Doromal, Luz Biminda, and Marvin James Canin, and John Fajoltad. And for the repose of souls of Peter and Ramonita Fajoltad, Edgardo Sindico, Yolanda Di Castro, Bea and Beatriz Manal, Evan Chris Alvarez, Roji Zamar Solas, Cindy Marie Espirito, George Madurar, Tisha Gillian Gaabukayan, Rogelia Fermaran, Rogelio Fermaran, Ramon and Consuelo Fermaran, Frederick and Angelina Sabas, Pilar and Danilo de Tablan, Felix Tade, Jose Lim, Marlo de Taro, Connie Arganio, Arganiosa, Gemma Cartesiano, Oscar Ilano Sr., Juanito, Gloria, and Jimmy Malazarte, Susan Canto, Jose Mistio, Maria Escobar Mistio, Hemisio Angeles, Cecilia Angeles, and Margarita Angeles. And also, also for Archbishop Emeritus Angel Lagdameo and Father Doming Alimahin. Let us prepare ourselves for the holy sacrifice of the Mass and dispose of our temporal anxieties. We request to turn off your cell phones or place them in silent mode. all rise and welcome the main celebrant, our Lord Jesus Christ, in his presider, Reverend Father Kenneth Espeleta.
in this holy sacrifice of the Mass, we remember members of our community that have gone ahead of us, and we also pray for the members of our particular family that have gone ahead of us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and a communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. spirit. My dear friends, coming together as God's family, with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for it's full of gentleness and compassion. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Listen kindly to our prayers, O Lord, and as our faith in your Son raised from the dead is deepened, so may our hope of resurrection for your departed servants also find new strength. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the reading of the scriptures. A reading from the book of Christ. The souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no power shall touch them. They seem in the view of the foolish to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction, and they go forth from us utter destruction. But they are in peace, for if we fail them, indeed they be punished. Yet is the earth full of immortality, chastised, and little they shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As though in the flowers he proved them, and as sacrificial offerings he took them to himself. In the time of their persecution they shall shine and shall burn about the spots through stubble. They shall judge the nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord shall be their king forever. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are with his rules, and he, his cares is with his elect. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, hope must not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. For Christ, while we were still helpless, died at the appointed time for the ungodly. Indeed, only with difficulty, thus one die for a just person. Though perhaps for a good person, one might even find courage to die. But God proves his love for us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. How much more then, since we are now justified by his blood, will we be saved through him from the wrath Indeed, if while we were still enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of His Son, how much more once reconciled will be saved by His life? Not only that, but we also boast to God of God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. The word of the Lord. Please all rise to claim the gospel.
Come, you who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne, and all the nations will be assembled before him, and he will separate them one from another, as a shepherd separates a sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you are blessed by my Father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me. In prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them and reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of these least brothers of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you accursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. A stranger, and you gave me no welcome. Naked, and you gave me no clothing. Ill, and in prison, and you did not care for me. Then they will answer and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty, or a stranger, or naked, or ill, or in prison, and not minister to your needs? He will answer them, Amen, I say to you, what you did not do for one of this least of this, you did not do for me. And this will go off to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate the commemoration of all the faithful departed, of all the souls. Thus we call All Souls Day. Yesterday we celebrated the solemnity of all the saints. And these are our brothers and sisters who have gone ahead of us and have reached and have embraced the promised kingdom of God. These are our brothers and sisters who have attained the glory of heaven. These are our brothers and sisters who in their lives here on earth were not so perfect, but they had been perfected by God because of the works uh, that they did also 
here on earth. So they have attained the glory of heaven. They have attained the bliss of God's kingdom. Today, on the other hand, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, as we commemorate all the faithful departed, we actually celebrate this for all the souls in purgatory. And these are our brothers and sisters of God ahead of us, yet have not attained yet the worthiness to be part of the environment of God, the state of God's protection, and the glory of God's kingdom. So that is why they are still in the state of purgation. They are still in the state of cleansing themselves for whatever still imperfections that they have due perhaps to their own weaknesses and limitations while they were still here on earth before their passing to the next life. So this is my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, we are all called to be part of our brothers and sisters that are still trying to be part of God's kingdom, trying to be collaborated in the glory of God's promise. So they need us still here on earth, people here on earth, to help them attain the glory of heaven. Purgatory, actually, my dear friends, my brothers and sisters, is the term used by St. Augustine. He was the one that first used that. And you know that purgatory is about purgation of our souls. Purgation is just like the cleansing up of our souls. Because we know we cannot yet satisfy the justice of God's glory. We cannot yet satisfy the perfection and completion of God's kingdom. So there is still a need for us to be purified in order to be worthy citizens of God's kingdom. So for us still living, we need to help our brothers and sisters in purgatory. And as we express our degree of faith, most especially if we recite the Apostles' Creed, there is a part in there that says communion of the saints. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, and the communion of saints. The communion of saints is the decree of our faith, wherein all of us, living and dead, are still in collaboration with one another, so that we can still be one in God's kingdom. This is the beauty of our faith when even the dead can collaborate with us and we can collaborate with the dead so that they too can be part of the promise of God. So for all of us still living here on earth, we know there are still so many things that we need. And in our need, we invoke our brothers and sisters who have attained already the glory of heaven. And these are the saints. The reason why we go to the saints, when we are in need of something, for example, if we need healing, we go not to a saint that is the patron of uh, the healing. 
if we need money, then we go to a saint that is a patron of uh, riches and wealth. I don't know who that saint is. Just find out. Just Google it. But if we need something here on earth, while we are still living our life here on earth, we need the help of our brothers and sisters that have attained already the perfection of heaven. And for our brothers and sisters that are still in purgatory, they need us to pray for them so that in our every prayer for them, we hope that one soul from purgatory proceed to the kingdom of heaven. This is the communion of the saints. And this is the degree of our faith. This is the expression of our faith. This is the manifestation of our faith. That is why, my dear friends, my brothers and sisters, as we celebrate All Souls Day, this is not about remembering our brothers and sisters who have gone ahead of us. This is actually ourselves declaring our faith to still be part of our brothers and sisters and to continue fulfilling what Jesus had said to all of us to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. Even though they have God ahead of us already, yet they are still our neighbors and they still need our love. And that love is expressed in our prayers, helping them attain the glory of the kingdom and live purgatory already. Second, my dear brothers and sisters, as we commemorate all the faithful departed, we would like also to remind ourselves the transitory state of our being, that we are just passing, and this is actually an invitation to always take note that in our passing, we know very well that it is just like a quick passing for all of us in this beautiful place that God has given to all of us. And this is the earth. This is where we are right now. But we know very well that someday we are to leave this place. And we are to proceed to where God would like us to be. So this is also an invitation for all of us. As we pass, let us remember, let us pass with goodness. So as we pass, we know and we would like to remind ourselves that we are all passing. So as, and, be, and since we are just passing, whatever good things that we can do, let us do it now. Let us not defer or neglect it for we shall never pass this way again. As we commemorate all the faithful departed, we are reminded we are all passing because of our transitory being and because we are all passing whatever good things that we can do, let us do it now. Let us not defer or neglect it for we shall never pass this way again. Thirdly, my dear friends, my brothers and sisters, as we commemorate all the faithful departed, we would like also to embrace the spirit of hope in all of us. The hope that in living our spirit to look at where we are going as our final destination, and that must be heaven. So that every day we must be conscious of heaven. And as we are conscious of heaven every day, we would like also to take note of that and make that as part of our daily life. So that whatever we think, whatever words that come out of our mouth, whatever action that we express, all this also must lead us to where we are hoping for. And that is heaven. So we would like also to declare to ourselves, I would like to be in heaven someday. And as I would like to go to heaven someday, let my word right now be that of heaven. Let my act right now, my work like right, right now, be that of heaven. Let my thought right now be that of heaven. Heaven is my final destination. Yesterday, I would like to end with this. I received no a text message. Oh no, not a text message. No, uh, a message. No, in the messenger. 
this did that is actually like saying if you go to the cemetery today do not use your ways or gps because it's not, not it's not nice to, to hear that when you reach cemetery you have reached your final destination so we are actually going there our final destination when we reach our final destination let us ask ourselves what kind of journey we have in reaching our final destination. Our life here on earth is a journey. Let us journey good. Let us journey with love. Let us journey in peace. Let us journey full of joy because there is a final destination so that when we reach our final destination, we can really say what a journey it has been. Full of joy, full of peace. What a beautiful journey. Amen. Please all rise. Let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. Who was conceived in the Father of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered in the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray for our departed brothers and sisters that the Lord may welcome them to the joy of paradise. In the every petition, let our response be, Lord, let perpetual light shine upon the faithful departed. Lord, let perpetual light shine upon them, the faithful departed. May the church preach and witness to the truth of eternal life that Christ won by his passion, death, and resurrection. We pray. Lord, let perpetual light shine upon the faithful departed. May we strive to live a just and holy life so that we may be ready to face the Lord at our passing from this world, we pray. Lord, let the light shine upon the faithful departed. May the Lord comfort the suffering and the dying and give eternal rest to those who have died, we pray. Lord, let the light shine upon the faithful departed. May the Lord shine upon the souls being purified in purgatory and bring them soon to the joy of paradise, we pray. Lord, let the perpetual light shine upon the faithful departed. May the Blessed Virgin Mary, who stood by the cross of Jesus, comfort those who mourn the passing of their loved ones, we pray. Lord, let the perpetual light shine upon the faithful departed. May the Lord grant eternal rest to our brothers and sisters in the BLD community who have gone ahead of us, we pray. Lord, let the perpetual light shine upon the faithful departed. May the Lord's unfathomable mercy and grace be on us as we lift up our personal and community concerns. We pray. Lord, let the perpetual light shine upon the faithful departed. Into your hands, O Lord, we commend the souls of those who have departed from this life. May they see you as a merciful judge and a loving Father who welcomes them to their true home. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and a chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and also Romeo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants we remember today in this holy celebration whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. So the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
forgive us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and, and with your spirit. spirit. Dear friends, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace be, be with, with you, you Father. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, I'm not worthy, worthy that you should, should enter under, under my, my roof, roof but, but only say, say the word, word and, my and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, you may now approach the altar to receive the Lord.
please all rise. Let us pray. Grant we pray, O Lord, that your departed servants, for whom we have celebrated this Paschal Sacrament, may pass over to a dwelling place of light and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please all kneel for our prayer for the community. All. Lord Jesus, you said that all we know, that we are truly your disciples by the love we bear from one another. You pray that your disciples may all be one, as just you and the Father are one. We pray, Jesus, for the same unity of heart and mind, that in you we too may be one with the Father. Lord, we have a covenant with you to follow your commandments, especially that of loving one another in living in unity. Beyond our circumstances and concerns, our fears and craving for recognition, grant us the grace to overcome our tendency to be oversensitive and judgmental of one another. May we always remember that in matters of community concerns, our leaders speak for you and have the good of community at heart. Let your Holy Spirit flow freely into our hearts and minds that we too may share in the mutual love between you and the Father. May harmony reign in our community life and activities. Banish all bitterness, petty bickering, and strife far midst. Help us to be holy as you are holy, to love one another as you have loved us. Remind us always to lift up our hearts in prayer. Nourish us by your word and strengthen us through your sacraments. Make us one, Lord Jesus, for it is good and pleasant when we dwell as one, and there you will lavish blessings upon us. In your mighty name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Please all be seated for the announcement. Good evening, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. We give thanks to our Lord Jesus Christ for tonight's Mass presider, our spiritual director, Father Butch Esbeleta. And for our mass sponsors for tonight, the Family Encounter Class Number 14. Thank you everyone who are present here now at St. Clement's Church this evening. Again, we encourage the other members to please join us by attending physically here every Thursday for our community masses of praise and worship beginning with the praying of the community rosary at exactly 6.15 p.m. Please continue joining the weekly WSC or World Sharing Circles online meetings with your ministry or apostolate. We will resume the face-to-face -face WSC soon. We praise and thank the Lord for a successful life and the spirit seminar number 20, and for our 83 graduates, 61 from Harrow, and 20 from Calibo, and two deaconates, Jay Kunanan and Yosolito Bigtas of the Missionary Servants of Immaculate Heart of Mary. Can we ask our LSS number 20 graduates to stand and be recognized? Thank you. We will have our post-shepherding session on Sunday, November 5, at the Jubilee Hall, beginning with an 8 a.m. Mass, followed by post-shepherding and shepherd's evaluation. We will be holding our family encounter number 15 on November 10 and to 12, at St. Clement's Retreat House. For more information, please contact the sponsoring class shepherds 
John and Pam Trompeta, or the Family Encounter Ministry Heads, Rocky and Mitz Abacaro. The SE Ministry, or the Singles Encounter Ministry, will be holding their SE Night on November 10 and 24 at 6 p.m. at the BLD Hall. The SPE Class Number 19 will be having their first monthly reunion on November 11 at 2 p.m. at the BLD Hall. The Martin Ministry will have their monthly activity on November 18 from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. at the BLD Hall. The YA Class Number 16 will be having their fourth monthly reunion on November 18 at the BLD Hall. The SC Class Number 80 will be having their second monthly reunion on November 19 at the BLD Hall. The ME41 will be having their class reunion on November 19 1.30 to 4 p.m. at the BLD Hall. The BLD Calibre District in Process will be having a raffle draw on November 11 to support its Emmy Weekend next year. Ministry heads who have unsold tickets can sell their tickets and remit them. Reminding all district leaders, we will have our DLs meeting on November 4, starting at 9 a.m. at the BLD Hall. For our love offerings and tithes, please note our community bank details or send via money transfer to our management DCS, Jerry Arenas. Finally, we would like to call all those who are celebrating their birthday and wedding anniversary for the month of the member to please come here in front and receive a special blessing from Father Kenneth. November celebrant, birthday and wedding anniversary, please come. members of our community, if we, we can extend our hands over our brothers and sisters celebrating their birthday this month of November and those who are celebrating their wedding anniversary. Let us pray for them. Lord, thank you so much for the blessings you have given us, most especially for the gift of life you have entrusted to our brothers and sisters, celebrating with gratitude to this very beautiful life. We ask you, Lord, to bless them always with the necessary graces that they need, peace of mind and heart good health all the time and may they be surrounded you know, with your love and with the love you know, of their brethren. May I ask you, O oh Lord, may they fulfill the purpose and the purpose of their being, the purpose of their lives, and may they always glorify your name. May they spend their life here on earth glorifying your name, O oh Lord, and fulfilling the very reason of their being. We ask you also, Lord, to bless those who are celebrating their wedding anniversary. Bless them, O Lord, that they may continue to become the living example of the love you have now for your people. May they always be faithful and committed to this vow, to this sacrament of marriage that they seal their lives into. And may they be always you know, committed you know, to, to show, to express, to manifest this love you know, to the world. May they always be, Lord, be the uh, uh, may they always no, live no, in the virtue no, of love and may they always glorify you through the sacrament of marriage, through their faithfulness and commitment to one another. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
is all rice. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the God of all consolation bless you, for in His unfathomable goodness He created the human race, and in the resurrection of His only begotten Son, He has given believers the hope of rising again. Amen. 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 To us who are alive, may God grant pardon for our sins, and to all the dead, a place of light and peace. Amen. Amen. So may we all live happily forever with Christ, whom we believe truly rose from the dead. Amen. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Good evening, everyone. Good, Good evening. evening. Good night, everyone. Have a restful evening.